no, it doesn't have a high pay up here. Okay. What about a Durani AC? Durani AC? Well, really? Like, yeah, I mean, like, look yeah. at the pebbles. Guys, okay. guys, okay. let's just yeah, go yeah. see if there's anything in the herbarium. Okay. All right, let's go. Miss Frizzle. Frizzle. Oh, good morning, class. Seems like I've fallen asleep. I was looking for examples of the Papa Verse family all night, but I couldn't find any. Papa what? The Papa Verse family? It's the Poppy family. And what are some key characteristics of this family? Um, yeah, Miss Frizzle, I don't really know. As my great uncle Will used to say, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. <laughs> that means back to the classroom. <laughs> the Papa Bear State family is a very diverse family that grows within the northern hemisphere. It is made up of three separate subfamilies. Has anyone eaten a Papa Seed muffin before? I just did for breakfast. What, what do you know? You eat a Papa Versier seed. These special flowers also form capsule seeds that produce latex, which is made from medicine for people who are hurt. No way. Yes! You never would have expected something from such a beautiful flower, would you? Nope. the flower I found this morning. Bring that up here. Where did you find it? Oh, I just found it on Highway 85. Highway 85? Mm -hmm. That sounds like time for a field trip. Yay! Yay. To the bus! <laughs> you love me. Are you riding? Uh, please let this be a normal field trip. So I guess the stamens would be there. And is this the calyx then? No, the calyx is caudaceous, which means that it's shed in early flower development. That's so small. How will I get anything good for my notes? Oh, how indeed, Julia. Did she say something? Hold on to your staples, kids. Thus, do your stuff. Oh, I'm going oh. to Actually, <laughs> now let's go check out that statement. Oh, uh, there go my allergies. Uh, <laughs> Look at wow. this one. It's so pretty. You can see the stigma is flattened into a disc, yeah. and there's a nest of stamen around it, so it must be a bisexual flower. But this one's so bright, I can hardly tell the difference. I got to know. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, now I can see the difference between the petals and the <laughs> sepals. Not all flowers have sepals, though. Remember, they're caudaceous or not persistent. So they're there while the flower is developing, and then they fall off. Okay. And according to my research, they can be either be polysepalous or gamosepalous, which means they can be fused or distinct. Oh, okay. Well, let's go over here. Totally. Wow, uh, those sepals sure are hairy. Yes, the poppy family isn't always in need of a haircut. <laughs> I'd say. Ms. Frizzle, are we being supported <coughs> by a pedestal right now? Actually, we're being supported by a peduncle. The poppy family does grow solitary, but it can grow aggregated, in which case it would have a sign or a receive. And in that case, we would have a pedestal. Mm. At my old school, we were never supported by a peduncle. <coughs> Is that a superior over? Yes, Julia, very good. It is a superior ovary, which eventually will turn into a capsule. Oh, he's not looking <laughs> like he's feeling so good. No, he's not. No, I think I'm we need to get guys. back. Okay. I'm not good, guys. We gotta go. Ugh. Now that we've revived Evan, what were some things you noticed about the poppies today? You can even see. I know they have a They have caudaceous calyx and they're solitary. Very impressive class. Looks like you're all set for tomorrow's test. Wait, what? There's a test tomorrow? I don't want to test.